Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Subpro Planning. Hope this video finds you well. Uh, today's video, I'm going to do a quick flip through of the uh, travel journal that I made using the, basically the happy planner idea, which is the metal rings and the changeable um, covers and uh, happy planner pages and stuff. So um, if you are a subscriber to my channel or if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that I actually made this sometime in September, I want to say. And I just did it because I thought it would be kind of fun to have a travel journal and to kind of keep track of like the things that I did and places that I saw um, as a nice little way of like memory journaling. So um, I put it together and the best part about putting it together was it kept me even more excited to go on my trip. So I think it was just kind of fun from the beginning all the way to the end. And now even when I look back at the pictures, I just think, oh my gosh, it was so pretty there. And um, Iceland's a beautiful country. It's magical. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. There's rainbows everywhere and it's the landscape. It's just, it's so stunning. So if you ever have the opportunity to go, um, I highly recommend it because it was just, it's just something I'll uh, probably will never experience again. So with that being said, um, I'm going to do two flip throughs. I'm going to do a silent flip through, um, and that will be in the, um, in the subject or in the description box, I will have the timestamp. So if you just want to look at it quiet with some music and just kind of see what it was like, it'll be there for you. And also I'll do a, another flip through where I'll have some commentary and I'll talk a little bit about where I went or what I did. Um, for those of you that are interested, or maybe you're interested in planning a trip to Iceland and you just kind of want to know like what to expect. So, um, the only thing is that I did have to, um, cover up people's faces. And the reason why is because this is a public channel and I don't think it's appropriate, uh, to show someone's image, um, online without their permission. And, um, I did ask and she expressed some hesitation and I absolutely do not blame her. Uh, so I decided that out of respect for her wishes and for my own, my own anonymity, I decided to not put, um, to not to cover up our images or photos. So with that being said, I'm going to start with the flip through. So if you remember, this is the cover that I made. It's just, um, a paper pad from Michael's. It was called let's travel. I did front and back and I did two sheets. So that way it was kind of covered on the front and the back with the airplane. Um, the thing was, is that I was not able to use the happy planner punch as I usually do. What I ended up having to do was I had to do, um, uh, paper punch and that's not usually like my fave thing but it is what it is I'm also wearing my scooter bathrobe which is like one of my favorite things ever so I'm wearing my bathrobe today so um so anyways that's kind of what I did and I just stuck some stickers on the on the top and on the inside and then I um laminated it and just did the usual it's the mini happy planner if you're interested in how to make your own covers I do have a pretty okay video I think most people seem to like it most people found that it was pretty informative on how to make your own mini happy planner cover um, using some very basic supplies you don't need a ton of stuff so that video is on my channel and if you'd like I I, I guess I'll link it down below in the description box um, if I remember to so that if you want to click on that link to see how you make your own cover or at least the way I make it that'll be there for you so this is my travel journal. So these are just a couple of pictures that I took with my little Fuji Instax the morning that I left. Um, it was just, it was a super, I was so bummed to leave, but I was definitely thankful to come home, but it was still just so magical. I probably could have, if I could have stayed for another, another week, I probably would have totally done it. So this was the list that I made. This is my little travel bucket list. Um, I had things that I wanted to do and these are the things that we did do. And so it was kind of fun. It just took some stamps and put down that we did, what we did, what we, what was to do and what was to done, uh, what was done. And, um, so I punched that, that came out of the paper pad. And then this is just a cute little like vintage looking postcard. I mean, it's obviously not vintage, but it's a modern postcard with the vintage map of Iceland. And it's, it's just really cool. It's just a pretty little thing that I just kind of shoved in my pocket here. Um, some more pictures that I took the day before I left. So I just kind of have those. And then this was like my countdown. So this is like week three, you know, three weeks and then two weeks and then one week. And then the day that I left and these are all the things that I wanted to buy. These are all the things that I wanted to get. Um, and then this is my list of stuff to make sure I didn't forget. And so then, um, the day before, and then I transition into the morning, the night of the morning of, and then the day of the trip. So I just kind of took some pictures. I printed them out on my, um, Canon sprocket, or, sorry, my HP sprocket. I think it's an HP. Oh gosh. Well, it's the sprocket. I think it's the HP. And so I printed some stuff out, um, 
the night of and then on the days of the trip I would sit and we would relax in the hotel room and I would just kind of go through the day's pictures and I'd print off some things that I'd want. And so these are some of the things that I did. And I mean, it's very simple and plain. I can definitely add more um, pictures on if I want, but these are just some of the things that I thought that really stood out. We had our, we spent Halloween in Iceland, which was really cool. Um, and then um, we kind of traveled and explored the city because we got there at like six o'clock in the morning and we actually didn't get into the city until 7.30 and we were both just exhausted. So we actually went back to our hotel room and we, you know, we each took a nap and um, then we kind of got up and, the time change is kind of weird and it was kind of dark when we got up so we didn't really know what time it was so it's just kind of funny I did an expense tracker for every day just to kind of keep track of like how much money I spent and then I would just add things like we went to the Lebowski bar and so I'd like I would take um that they had guidebooks so I'd cut out the pages from the guidebooks of the places that we went and um like that's where we ended up sitting and then I have this really fun rotten egg shower postcard that I think is hilarious and then what I did was I just kind of wrote down my experience with it because I didn't realize that the water smelled like sulfur there um I've know people that have gone but no one bothered to tell me so then this was the first day we did a golden circle tour so we went to and I can't pronounce it but we went to a national park and then we went and saw the geyser um it was huge 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 bus crowded um we went and saw the geyser and we saw some Icelandic uh horses and we um went and saw Gullfoss waterfall which is uh stunning um so yeah and then we just have like some things here. So I just write down little things. And what I did was I didn't attach everything so that I could flip it down and kind of like look and read and stuff like that. Saturday, we actually just spent the day in the city. We went to the flea market, we went to the church, we went to the penis museum. Um, we saw the Northern Lights that day. Um, we, uh, you know, I, again, keeping track of all of my expensive expenses. And then Sunday we did the Southern Coast tour, which was really cool. So we went to the Black Sand Beach. Um, we went to two of the more extensive waterfalls there and we just had a great time and it was just rainbows, rainbows everywhere. Rain everything had rainbows. It was ridiculous. I actually did get to touch a glacier and see a glacier, which was really cool. So it's really excited about that. This is an envelope that I made out of that paper pack. And what I did was I just put like receipts in there. So I have all my receipts from all of my spending so I can kind of keep track of it and make sure that there aren't any weird charges on my credit card. Um, then on Monday we did the, uh, hop on hop off bus which you'll see these in many many cities and so we did that and we just hopped on and hopped off at different places which was great because it was a great way to just see the city so the first ride was we just stayed on the bus and we just rode around the whole i think it was like 90 minutes so we just rode the whole 90 minute circle and then as we were going we decided where we were going to go and what, what places we were going to visit but it was a great way to see the city and then um, we went to this chocolate factory, which is really cool, cool, om nom. It was awesome. And they've got some of the best chocolate I've ever had. We went to the Saga Viking Museum. We went to Perlon, which is beautiful. And so all I did was, you know, and that's actually a wax. These are wax figures. These are not people. Um, and you can like literally stand up right next to them. Like my face is like that far away from the wax figure. And then um, we did some pictures of Perlon and I took some pictures and I printed them out on my sprocket and put them on here. And then I have another expense tracker. And then um, this was our last day in Iceland. Um, those are some pictures I took with my Fuji Instax when I left. And this was uh, getting ready to go. And this was me at the airport. I actually got picked to be um, searched. So they did a pat down and they did, they emptied all of my bags, not my uh, checked luggage, just my carry-ons. And then this is a webcam image from city, the city pond. And that little arrow is actually pointing to me. So I took a picture of myself on the webcam on my phone just because I'm was i a nerd. And so then I have some um, some more envelopes and I have stuff to, I have more mem memorabilia that I can put in here. If there's any like larger pictures that I want, um, that I want to print out on my printer, I can stiff them in, uh, stuff them in these pockets. And then this is the one of the guidebook inserts. And so what I did was I just cut it out. And it's just a map of the city. And what I did was I just kind of mapped, I kind of marked off the places that we went to. And there's still other places that I have to mark off that we went to. But that's just kind of gives me a sense of like where we went and what we did. Um, more of the touristy area is definitely where all of the black marks are. Um, the rest of the city, it's, people go to it, but it's a little more, not suburban, but most of the touristy um, fun places are like in this vicinity here. So I added that in there. 
And then these are just some random pictures that I have from the trip. And that's a couple pieces that we had. And then this is going to hold, this actually holds some more of those Fuji Instax pictures. So I have these. And they're just pictures that I took, you know, on my walk that morning that before we left. I just wanted to get some more pictures. So, you know, obviously it's a Fuji Instax camera. It doesn't take the best pictures. So, and there's actually, there's more pictures that are from my DSLR that I took with me that I need to print off. But I really want to kind of go through this and be very specific about what I decide to print. Because what I'll probably do is I'll probably print out postcard size or four by six and then I will probably make my own insert pages using some sort of like sheet protector punching the holes in it just like I do with like my um just like I've done for other stuff and then that way I can have some images like some pictures like maybe in the back or maybe in the center of just the highlight photos so that when I look at this I can go back and, and be done with it the other thing that I plan to do is that I'm not going to just use this for Iceland I will be using this for all of my trips so every time I go on a new trip I'll just add a new section and when I get to the point where I have to go to the expander rings I'll go to the expander rings and then I'll just keep adding trips to this one book until the expander rings no longer can hold all of it and then I'll just make another book so that's kind of what I want to do um, so anyways uh, so now um, that you've seen that, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to do my silent flip through. So if you want, you can bypass this if you want to see the commentary and then just go towards the end. So now I'm going to just do the silent flip through. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that uh, that flip through. Um, and if you ever have the opportunity to go to Iceland, I totally recommend it. It was magical, and I consider myself very lucky that I was able to go. If it's on your bucket list, I totally recommend that you go when you can. Um, just make sure you research the time of year that you'd like to go. Um, if you're interested in more daylight or maybe seeing something comparable to the midnight sun, then you'd want to go in the spring and um, early fall. If you're interested in the northern lights, you're going to want to go more towards um, fall and winter um, because they don't have as much sunlight. So anyways, I hope this video finds you happy and well. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time, welcome and I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy my videos, feel uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I have a variety of videos. Most of them are planner, planners and planner related items or hauls. Sometimes I'll throw a bag on there if it's something that I really like or sneakers because I'm kind of like a sneaker hound. But um, for the most part, I try to keep this all planner related um, for those who are just kind of looking for ideas or tips or tricks or just 
want to see planners. I love watching planner videos for no other reason other than to just see the planners. So, um, uh, so yeah. So anyways, just remember you were loved. You, you were wanted and you deserve to be here and don't ever let anyone make you think or feel differently. Um, so I hope you enjoy this and I'll talk to you later. Deuces. Bye. Bye.